I have to go to the UK, US, or Canada because they speak English. Of course, that's, you know, that's the first thing that will come to mind. I also thought, thought so too, but then I was like, mm, these places are kind of like expensive. Let me try other countries to see how it goes. And I mean, I didn't regret it. So I'm a very, very strong, you know, I, I tell anybody I want to study and they cannot afford these other countries. I always advise them to try France because a lot of people don't know that you can study fully in English in France. I was studying in France, but I actually got the internship in Netherlands. So <laughs> that was a very, very good opportunity for me because I get to experience, you know, another lifestyle, another culture during my studies. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the cruise with Esther. Today is going to be a continuation from the last video that I did talking about studying in France. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to apply through the studies in France platform. But first, I would actually advise you to go through the Campus France website of your country because the Campus France website actually have a dedicated web website that is for each country that it's being applicable to. So the 67 countries that I mentioned in my previous video, each of them have a dedicated website for it. So for instance, like for Nigerians, we have the nigeria.campusfrance.org. If you're in the US and you want to go study in France, then the website dedicated to the US is usa.campusfrance.org. If you're in the UK, uk.campusfrance.org. So I'm just giving these countries as, as an example so you can go into those sites and you get all the information that is required. So, you know, one tip that I would actually give, first of all, because, you know, we all want to study abroad, we all want to study abroad quite all right. But then you have to choose a course, especially in a country where the main language is not um, English, you have to choose a course that actually offers internship because why, why I say that is because it's going to give you an opportunity to gain work experience. Because no matter what, of course, if your program is, is I mean, if it, an internship is required in your program, then of course you have to do an internship before you get your certificate. And that will give you an opportunity to be able to have like work experience in that country. So it will help you a whole lot. In fact, it will also help you like after your studies to get a job. So that's something I really, really advise people to do because of course, you know, even in, in as much as they teach English, they teach some of their programs in English, but not all the programs or all, <laughs> all the studies are actually taught in English. They are kind of specific. So you'd have to check through the Campus France website to know the program that you're interested in studying in. So, um, you know, as a foreigner, <laughs> it might be hard for you to get an internship. I was studying in France, but I actually got the internship in Netherlands. So <laughs> that was a very, very good opportunity for me because I get to experience, you know, another lifestyle, another culture during my studies. And the good part was that the company actually filed and did all the paperwork that was required for me to do my internship in the Netherlands. So, you know, these are opportunities that you get when you go study abroad because you know it will broaden your horizon so that's why i was like one tip i would really give is for you to actually go study or choose a program that actually offers in internship instead of just writing a project because that would really help you and some of these companies they actually retain um, people if not because i was actually relocating to the us i would have gotten a job most of my colleagues who traveled from, I, I had some colleagues, some colleagues from India, um, Thailand, some even in the US. I had like two cosmates who were from the US. They actually got jobs there in the, there in France. Sorry, I was gonna say there in the France, but there in France. So it's a very, very good opportunity if you would like to study in France. France is a very, very beautiful country full of opportunities. You know, they offer an excellent quality of life. It's a very, very high level of, I mean, a very good high level of education because if you look at the top 
universities in the world. Of course, before you go to the 50th one, you're going to see multiple universities in France. So you won't regret it. It's a very, very good opportunity for you to study in France. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about how you can apply through the Studies in France um, platform, which is the Etudio in France <laughs> platform. I don't know why I laugh whenever I say that. I mean, it's, I don't have the um, French accent. So actually, this platform is where you can you know, start the process of applying through the, for the programs you want to study in France up until your visa application. But some of these universities actually, I mean, you can actually apply directly into these universities without going through this portal. But the thing is, you are going to definitely register on this portal when it's time for you to apply for your visa. And that's after you've gained admission into the university. So sometimes, I mean, if you can, it's better you just apply straight from the, I mean, from the beginning of your application process, process and then, you know, apply through, search for the programs you would like to study. But before that, you can go through the Campus France website. That would give you, like, a different, I mean, that platform, you're going to get the different courses that are being taught in English. You know, like I mentioned before, there are courses that are taught in you know, 100% English, and there are some that are taught in, you know, 50% English, 50% French. So it depends on what you like to study. So guys, just to give you a visual representation of what I was talking of about applying in, I mean, applying through Campus France, you have to go to the website that is dedicated to your country. So I'm just going to go to nigeria.campusfrance.org. So like I said before, if you're in the US, UK, Canada, um, Germany, you know, if your country is among those 67 countries, you make sure you put the name of your country at the beginning and then you can type campusfrance.org or you can go to the main website to see the um, URL or the link that is dedicated to your country. So when you go to the website, you go, to, you navigate your way to studying, click on studying, you can see these different options and then you click on find your program. When you click on that, you scroll down and then you see this, um, you see finding a program taught in English in France. And then you can either click taught in English or you click on this image. It also has the link um, in there. So when you click on it, you can click on it. It will open the link in a new tab. So this is the site that is dedicated to the um, programs that are taught in English. So they have 1,677 programs. So, so all these programs here are either 100% taught in English or partially taught in English. So it depends on your choice. And then you have these different filters. We have the level of degree sort. So when you click on this to expand, you see that you have the license um, L1, L2, L3, you have the Master 1, Master 2, Master of Science, Specialized Master, and the MBA. And you also have short and professional courses and summer courses. So depending on what you would like to do, then you select from these options here. And then you go down to fields. So these are the fields that they have available. They have the business and management, tourism, hotel and catering management, sciences, environment, health science, agriculture and agro-industry, mathematics, engineering and technology, law, economics, humanities, languages, literature, architecture, arts, design, and fashion. So it depends on the program that you like to select, then you select from these options there, but these are the ones that they have. So, and then you can select yes or no. If you want 100% taught in English, you click yes. If you want, um, partially taught in English, then you click no. So no would display some programs that are 50%, like for this one, you can see 50% in English and the remaining 50% is in French. So if we click yes, that's 100% taught in English. You go to your level of degree sort. If you want to do an undergraduate degree, I advise you just click L1, L2, L3. If you want to do a master's program, I mean, I'll recommend that you click all the masters here. And then you go to your fields. If you want business and management, you click on that. If you want law, economics, you click on that. So depending on what you want, you just click from these options that you have here. So let me just leave this up 
business and management. So they have 453 programs that are fully taught in English, you know, in business and management. So here you scroll down, see this is University of Paris Cité. <laughs> and then, I mean, you just scroll down and select whichever one you would like to study. You can also narrow your search if you want to narrow more. If you don't want to do MBA, you know you're not going to do that at all. You can untick that. If you want to click, um, if you, you know, just play around with it and you, would, you know, get what you want. So, okay, let me just say we have the master one and master two. So you can scroll down and look at the courses that are here. If anyone is applicable, if not, you scroll to the next page. You can even search, like if you have a university or program in mind that you like to do, for instance, let me type international management. That was what I did. So I'm always using that as an example. So you can see you type um, I typed international management and you can see that there are 31 programs found. So you can scroll down and then you see international mastering, you know, you just see these different options and then you can click on the one that is applicable to you. University of Paris Escretel too is, is a very good university. Um, you can choose to look at that as well. And of course, University of Toulouse, so this is actually the university I attended. They have the Master International Knowledge in European context. So if you see the one you want, actually, you just click on it. It will take you to this page, just give you a brief description of what the program is all about. And then you can see the tuition fees for the two years. You know, you just click on it and each of these pages actually have a direct link to the university's um, website. So that way you can get updated information about what the program entails. So you click on it, it's opening a new tab. And then you can see this is the Toulouse School of Management website. So you can, you can see this is all about the school. If you want to read about them, you can do that through these links. Then the programs they have, you can find the program. They have bachelor's, master's, doctorate program, double degrees. You know, they have these different options. So you can click on it. And then you can, if you want to know more about living and, you know, your daily life in Toulouse, you can go there. So, you know, for programs, let's just go to Masters. And you can see these different options that they have. So you can click on any of them that suits you. This is Master International Management. I don't know. I'm, I'm always going there. I mean, that's what I did. So, um, yeah, okay. So you can click on it. You can either download the brochure or they'll, or you read, you know, through this, the first year, the second year, you can do a gap year. That's optional. I did a gap year because I didn't get my internship on time. So I ended up going for a gap year. At least to also get a longer time while working or while, I mean, of course, gaining my professional experience. And then you have the second year. So you can choose from many of these um, options that is available. So yeah, that's it. And you know, all the best. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. Okay guys, Thank so you. moving on to the Etienne France website. This is it. I'm going to put the link in the description box as usual. So you can, you know, click in directly. So this is the website. This portal is actually closed. It's currently closed for applications and would open from the 1st of October up to the 15th of December for the 2024 stroke um, 25 intake. So actually this data has remained the same for years now. So just in case, I mean, it, it's, it's a long time. October to December is about three months, but just in case you miss this year's application, that's if you <laughs> watch this video, maybe later in the year or early next year, just know that it's the same time you can get prepared before the next um, October 1st. So to apply to courses taught in English, of course, usually no English test is required unless maybe specifically requested by the university. And to apply to courses that are taught in French, all students require you know, a certification in order for you to qualify, just to show that you have a proficiency in French language. So one advice too I would also give is that, you know, like I mentioned before, make sure that you go through the Campus France website of your country and then 
go to, go to the page where you have the programs that are taught in English. You select the courses you would like to study and also the universities that you like to study. So you can have those handy before you start this application. And then another thing is you should make sure that you prioritize your request as well. The request I mean is the courses that you're going to study. Because on this portal, it, I mean, applications generally in a university, you can apply up to three um, courses. So if your first choice is not accepted, then your application will be transmitted to the second choice. And then if it's not, then you have the third choice. So just in case, just make sure that you put your number one, um, the number one course that you like to study as your first choice. Sometimes you get it. Well, most times people get their first choice. And then your second and third choice too should be what you really want to study as well, just in case you don't get accepted in the first one. So before you start this application, you're going to need several, I mean, you're going to up upload several documents that are your international passports, your degree certificates and transcripts. So, I mean, for those in Nigeria, you can get your transcripts and just scan a copy of it and send to the university. That was what I did during my time because most, most universities in France, they didn't really ask for you to, you know, send the um, transcript directly from the university to their school. So you could scan or you could scan, I um, mean, a copy of your transcript and send to the university. And of course, they will need your high school diploma your WAEC, NECO, and your SSC. And note that you must also purchase a PIN and fill it out to be able to verify your WAEC and or your NECO results. So those things are really, really very required for Nigerians. And if you are not a Nigerian, you know, your high school diploma, whatever it is in your country that they offer, you have to provide that result as well. And then you have to also um, add your CV or your resume as it's been called in the US. Make sure it's updated, put in all your work experiences, everything you've done, put it because it helps a whole lot when the um, university is making a decision on your application. And then you go, you're also gonna need um, a motivation letter or a personal statement so depend on depending on the university some call it motivation letter some call it personal statement some also call it statement of purpose so it depends but all these are very very similar it's just you writing about you know your experience and why you decided to study in that country and why you also go in for the program that you chose so some schools might tell you what they expect you to write, maybe tell, give you some questions that you can, you know, expand shit on. So it just depends, but just know that you have to write something like that. And then a language proficiency certificate, that's if applicable. If you are from a country that is not an English speaking country, then you need to prove that you can speak English. So they will require the English certificate from you. And then if you are going to study in French or fully or partially, um, taught programs in French and you are not from a French speaking country, then you need to show proof that you can actually speak French. And of course, to have that proof, you have to upload the certificate. So you have to, you need to have that. And then some of some of the universities actually require reference letters. I think almost all of them require reference letters. So if you have, if you are in contact with your um, lecturer from the university, or if you work, you can get reference letters from your colleagues, you know, just make sure that you have that too. And then a scholarship letter, that's for those who have scholarships. And once you submit the file, I think those are the documents that are really required. And once you finish your application and you submit your file, of course, you have to wait for some, maybe like five, I mean, a minimum of five working days to hear back from you know, the country, the people that are representing your country. So these are things that um, you should have handy before you start. So looking at this website, you'd see the sign up and sign in. And at the top uh, right hand corner, you can either select Fran French, <laughs> English or Spanish. So whatever language is more comfortable for you to, you know, get your way around, then you select. So this is English and then you click sign up. 
So when you click sign up, it's going to take you to this page. And then, of course, you know, you have to create an account. So that's what we're doing here. And you have to select your country. So here, I'm going to go down to Nigeria. And then, of course, it's going to show you more fields for you to fill out. So um, let me click. You have the option to click French on this. So right now, it's currently in French. So I'm going to click in to change it to English. So here we have this. Then you have to put in your email address. You confirm your email address. So it's the same as whatever you filled in here. And your identity, you put in your last name. If you have other last names, I think this is for... I mean, some men might do, but like for women who maybe got married after they graduated, you know, your last name, most of them who took their husband's um, uh, last name, you can put that, you can put your maiden name here because your last name would be like your married name. And then your other last names would be your uh, maiden name. And then you can put in your first name, your gender, you select male, female. If you don't want to, at least you have the option to... <laughs> not to tell what your gender is. And then you have the date of birth, you put in your date of birth, you put in your country of birth, your city of birth, and then your country of nationality. Because sometimes you might be born in Nigeria, but you have um, a, a UK nationality. So of course you have to put in all those information. And then you also, like I mentioned earlier, part of the document that are required is your ID that you have to upload, but during creation, you just put in your the type of ID you'd like to use. Then you put in the expiration dates. You put in, if it's, if it's a passport, you put in your passport number. If it's, a, if it's an ID, then you put in your ID number. So whatever it is, you put it in there. And then the country of issue of your passport, you also put it in here. And then you click I accept or, and this is optional though but this is actually required. So you can click, I accept that my personal information will be used within the application process. It's in France. And then you click create an account. So once you do that, it's going to send you an email for you to confirm the creation of your account. So in that email, you are going to receive a link that would excuse me, you're going to receive a link that you have to click to confirm your account. So once you click that link, then your account is confirmed. And then it will also take you to a page where you're going to put in your password. So once you put in your password, that's it. Then you can sign in to your portal. So let's go in <laughs> to the portal. When you log into your portal, this is what you're going to see. You can if it's if it's if it's opened in French, then you can click English so that it will translate it for you. So you have these links up here. You have I wish to apply. I already have an admission mailbox and my account. So my account, of course, is your profile. You can update it when you want. And mailbox is whenever you receive an email, you can um, view them here. And I already have an admission because sometimes you can apply directly to the university without you know, using this platform. So if you already got an admission outside this platform, then you can click this. But if you haven't and you wish to apply through this platform, then you click, I wish to apply. So when you click on, I wish to apply, then it's going to show you this page. You see, fill out the application, Campus Press Nigeria is reviewing my file and the chosen higher education institutions are reviewing your application. So first of all, you have to click drop down for fill out the application. So it's saying here that electronic application is mandatory for institutions connected to Etude in France. We advise you to fill out the form following the steps below. So for this page, you're gonna you know complete your application, like uploading uploading your passport photograph, your international passport, in fact all the supporting document that is needed. And it's very, very self-explanatory. So all the things that you would need are in here and it's very easy to understand. So make sure that you click and you know answer all the questions that are required and upload all the documents that are also required in this place. So next we'll be going to, um, after you filled out your personal information and everything is complete, then you go to fill out the program cards. So this is where you are going to select your program. So what you do, 
you know, like it says, if you already know which programs you're interested in, you can apply by adding the programs to your cart. If you don't know which programs you're interested in, consult the catalog on Campus France Nigeria or ask for a counseling interview. So you see, they advise you to make sure that you, you know, check on the courses that you can find on the website that is dedicated to your country. That's through Campus France. So you have the rules for the constitution of the program card. You can click on it to read. But the main thing here is for you to click add a program. So when you click add a program, it's going to display this page. So as you can see, look for a specific program. So programs are submitted to specific requirements. So you have to check the university. So here you're going to look at these options that are here and click the one that is applicable to you. If you're applying for a first year of undergraduate degree at French University, you can click this. If you're going to um, apply for architectural diploma, either a license, master, or HMONP, I don't really know what this means, you can click this. But if it's for all other programs, then you click on this one. Since you already have the courses and the universities listed, you know, somewhere, you have to, you know, to make it faster for you, you can just type in, for instance, if you want to go to University of Toulouse or University of Paris, or you want to study international management, mind you, international management, if you put that in the search bar, is going to bring out lots of universities that offer that program. So if you want it that way, that's fine. But if you know the university that you'd like to attend, then it's better to put that in the search um, bar. So let me add Toulouse here. Most times, if, if you want to put the full university name, it might not come up with a search um, results because the way they spelt it is actually different than, you know, the way it's written in English. So it's actually written in France. So mind you, you can just put the name of the city or the state that you'd like to study in. So this is Toulouse and then I click on search. So it's going to bring out all the programs that are taught in Toulouse, you know, um, in, in all the universities that are in Toulouse or colleges. So you scroll down, you see taught in English. So if you want a program that is fully taught in English, then this is for you. So you go down here and if you want to do a bachelor's degree, you can click on the plus button. It's going to show you what they have. If you want to have diploma, so it depends on what you want. If it's license, license is still a um, bachelor's degree. You can do that, but this is for year three. So it will tell you what it's for. If you want to do an MBA, you can click on that. You can see we have um, a school that teaches MBA in English. So it depends on what you want. And then if you go down to MSc, you can see that there are lots of courses in here that are taught in English. So you can click any of them. And then, I mean, this is kind of similar. So um, this is master and sciences. So I mean, so you just click on, this is more of engineering. You can see there are more of engineering courses. So you can select any of that too, if you want to. And the master specialist, <laughs> this is called special masters in English. So you can go down here too and search for the course that you would like to study. So that's how you go about it. So let me click on, um, let me see if Master in International Management is here. Um, no, okay. Let me go to Master in the French <laughs> Research at Professionnel. Okay, so let's check here. If we have Master in International Management, okay. Uh, oh, I thought I saw, okay, yeah, Master International Management. So this is it here. It's, a, it's kind of like a special master's. It's not an MSc, but it's called MIM. So it's kind of like a special master's in the University of Toulouse, capital where I studied. You know, the way they have MBA, Master in Business Administration, that's the way they have MIM, Master International Management. So you can click on it. And once you click on it, that has been added. So for the following program, you know, Master International Management, this is it and then you click select and then you add the selected program to the cart. So you it's, you see, it says you cannot apply for this program before 1st of October 2022 or after 15th of December, oh, 15th of 
um, January 2023. So, I mean, this is kind of like, oh, they haven't updated the, um, the portal yet. So this is just to show you how to apply. But once it's October um, 2023, this portal is going to open and you can also add this program to the cart and move on with the application process. So that's how it works. Just keep following the steps. And of course, you definitely get it right. It's not rocket science. It's very, very easy. So you have to search the programs that you like. So if you want to add more the same way, you just add it to the cart, you go back, select more, you know, add it to the cart, and that's how it's done. So once you've done that, you've added everything to the cart, make sure that you review the programs you've chosen carefully, and then you can proceed to write a personal statement for each of the selection that you've made, because those are required by the universities. So like I said, do not limit your application to one program, because the portal actually enables you to apply between um, two to seven programs, because that will increase your chances of being accepted. So make sure that all the selected programs must be in the same or related um, field of study, you know. So make sure you do that and always ensure that after you've applied, you know, go back once in a while. You will also receive an email though when there is an, an action taken on your um, application so that you can go check your, um, you, I mean, you can check what is being or what is in there. So what you can do after filling out your application and submitting it, then you go back to the, let me go back to the main page and then you can see submit the file to Campus France Nigeria. So this is because it's, um, I mean, I selected Nigeria from the beginning. So whatever country you are in is still the same process. Just the name of the country is different, but it's the same process. So once you've done that, then you can send your file. You know, like it says, verify your file is complete or make the necessary changes. As you can see, everything here is incomplete. So once the portal is open, you'll be able to complete all these sections. And then you click, I hereby satisfy that the above statements are true and correct to the best of my knowledge. So you click on it and then you click submit the file to Campus France Nigeria. If you're in Algeria, it will say submit the file to Campus France Algeria. If you're in South Africa, it will tell you the same thing. So this is the same process for everybody. That is, you know, for the um, countries that can do the applications through Campus France. So once you submit that, you know, you have to check your file regularly on the platform to know if it has been validated or if you have been asked to make any corrections. Because once you've submitted your file, a representative from Campus France is going to open your file and check everything you've submitted just to know if you did the right thing or not. And once that is done, if everything is complete, then an email will be sent to you to make the Campus France fee, to pay the fees. So like for Nigeria, the Campus France fee is 50,000 Naira. Uh, I think for the UK is about 90 to 100 pounds, if I'm correct, but everything is in the website. So you see the cost of applying through this platform. And of course you have to pay, <laughs> it's compulsory. So after payment, you make sure that you you know, visit the platform and declare your payment, or you can, you have the option to also send the receipts of payments to the email. Let me, um, for Nigeria, it's info campus France ng at um, gmail.com. So if you, I mean, there's a dedicated um, office in Abuja and Lagos for um, uh, the campus France office actually is there, there is one in Lagos and there is one in Abuja. So if you are, if you live in Lagos, you can go visit them. If you live in Abuja, you can go visit them and ask your questions. But if not, you can also email them the receipts of payment. So that way, once your payment has been validated, you'll be authorized to book an appointment for your pre-admission interview. So that way they will check everything you've done, you know, give you more information. And if you have any questions too, you can always ask them and then after the interview, of course, you make sure that you keep checking the platform for decisions from the universities that you've applied to. So they're gonna contact you through the platform. 
So that is it. It's very easy, very straightforward. Make sure that, you know, when you see it, when you see um, French language, don't get worried. Oh God, you don't understand what is in here. You can see at the top right hand corner, you have FR and EN. So make sure you always click EN. That would take you, that would, you know, translate the page for you to English. Then, of course, like I mentioned earlier, you make sure that you click the mailbox to check if you have any, if you've received any messages. Make sure you click to read what is in there. And then you can go to your account to update anything, any information that you'd like to update. So that is it. <laughs> Why it's not open now? Because it's not October 1st. So we can't really do much. And I want to put this out before then so you can have this information and start applying. You have three months to do that. So make sure that you start right now. France is a very good place to go study. I always, always encourage it. So I also wish you the best of luck. That's it. That's all you need. I'll put in the link in the description box below. And of course, I'll put all the necessary information that is required for you to be able to make this application successful. So I wish you the best of luck. I mean, France is good. I, <laughs> I studied there. I was happy I did because I had um, a good time, of course, in a different environment. You know, everybody are like, okay, yeah, I have to go to the UK, US or Canada because they speak English. Of course, that's, you know, that's the first thing that will come to mind. I also thought, thought so too, but then I was like, mm, these places are kind of like expensive. Let me try other countries to see how it goes. And I mean, I didn't regret it. So I'm a very, very strong, you know, I, I tell anybody I want to study and they cannot afford these other countries. I always advise them to try France because a lot of people don't know that you can study fully in English in France. So do not forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you next time video because i'll be talking about how to apply for the visa after you've gotten your admission so that's what i'll be talking about in my next video see you soon stay charming stay fabulous stay healthy and stay blessed thank you for watching bye